Okay, in this video we're going to go over creating your um, own banner ad as something like you see here. Okay, so uh, still we're going to have our Amazon open, okay, and, um, and then we're going to have our uh, free graphics generator open, okay. So what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to start the basic graphics uh, editor. Okay, so just click on this button. When you open the basic graphics editor up, this is what it will look like, okay? Um, okay, so uh, we're ready to start. Now, the first thing you want to do is remember um, we're going to go ahead and make an exact size of 650 by 250. So in this area where it says width and height, we're going to go ahead and change this to 650, and then we're going to change that to 250, okay? Once you do that, you're going to click on the button that says Reset. And keep in mind, guys, I'm by no means uh, at all any kind of graphics expert, okay? Um, anybody can do this. It just takes a little bit of uh, want to and wanting to learn how to do it. But this, but this is really easy. And what's, what's cool about this is it gives you some create, you know, it uh, allows you to be creative with your sites. And what will happen is you'll start enjoying making these ads and making um, – so, and, and you're because you're adding your own personality to the site. So this will actually become fun for you, and you'll enjoy doing this um, when you're making your sites with AAB. Okay, so we have our layout where we want uh, 650 by 250. Okay, so what we're going to do now is add our image. Now, remember, we, we got the, we're going to stay with the watch that we have, so we're going to um, add our image. Now, this button here, it says Add Picture. We're going to click it, and we're going to select our uh, image. Now, what we're going to do now is we need to resize this just a little bit. Okay, so let's make that a little bit bigger. Now, at this point... What, one thing that you're going to have to realize is this is not a PNG image. This um, It has a background. So your background is going to need to stay white. If you put it to anything else, this is going to um, show out like a sore thumb. So um, remember, this is not a vector or, vector or PNG image, which means that the background is uh, transparent. This has a white background. So it's best just to keep the background here white also. Okay, so at this point, you can start putting in um, whatever you want to put on this uh, particular uh, slide. So let's go ahead and go back to Amazon and take a look at some of the information we have for this particular watch. Okay, so we're, we're on our product page. Now, one thing you can do is if you want to get some ideas or kind of about what um, works, we're going to go ahead and go back to Amazon's homepage. And what we're doing now is kind of taking a look, in a third, uh, look at their slides, okay? Um, let's go ahead and go back to watches. And let's take a look at some of the slides that they have. Uh, okay, I thought they had more slides than this, but... Um, these are the kind of slides, if you want to get ideas, um, you can see they have a slide there. Um, so let's just start building our slide. It's going to allow you to be creative. So we're going to go back to our, let's go ahead and just get our title. Let's go ahead and get our title, and we'll go ahead and go ahead and put it, um, we need to add, click on the text button right here where it says text. Okay, and then you're going to choose your font. Now, the free version only gives you a little bit of uh, just a few um, options as far as font, um, but I'm going to choose Century Gothic, and then what we're going to do is paste in what we just copied and click on Add Text, and it's going to put it right up here. Now, you can see that it puts it all in one line, which is okay. I mean, that's kind of probably what we want anyway, but we need to resize it. So I'm going to put it down just a little bit. Okay, we'll just set it to about right there. Okay, so we have um, our title. Now, keep in mind you can uh, make you can make this uh, uh, you know you can put it down one line, um, but uh, for, well, I'm just going to leave it the way it is right here for right now. Okay, so we have our um, title of the product. 
So now we can take a look at um, some uh, more uh, information about this product. And so what we can do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to add the features of the product also. So I'm just going to copy that and go back uh, to um, our software. And let's just delete that. And I'm going to choose a different font. And that looks okay. So we'll have this information. I might go ahead and change this font also. That looks a little bit better. Okay, so we have our title, our image, and then we have the um, features of the product. Now, at this point, you can start getting creative and adding things. Now, um, we have a ton of clip art. You can see that um, you can scroll down through here, and you've got a ton of things that you can add to um, your ad. I mean, he gives you just a ton of cool stuff. Okay, so you can look through there, and if you want to add anything, like, let's just say we want to add that image, okay? We'll put it over here in the corner. And let's say we want to add some more text within this. Let's delete that out. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to our clip art real quick. Well, let's go ahead and use the gold one. And let's just put something here, and it disappeared again. So we'll just say on sale now. We're going to add that text. Okay. Now we're just going to hold this text for just a minute and go back and let's see if we can add our clip art again. Now we need to um, move this to the foreground because it'll be behind it. So we want to bring this text so that it's on top of this uh, clip art. So you're going to go to tools, okay, click on tools, and then this little button that says bring item to the front. You're going to click here and it brings it straight to the front. Now we may need to resize this. Uh, Okay, so, and I know this is not pretty, um, but you get the idea of making your slide. You can do all kinds of things as far as um, effects, okay? Um, so you can play around with it, but making a, um, just a, a basic slide for your site. Now, when you're done making the slide, of course, you can save it, okay? And by clicking this button, and then you can download it, okay? Now, once you download it, all you need to do is go to your uh, software and add it to your primary uh, slide. Okay, and that's really, you know, about it um, of making a slide. Now, you, you probably do a lot better than this, um, but have fun with it and, you know, uh, be creative. And uh, that's how you're going to make your slides. Now, if you're talking about the, let's talk about the secondary slides. Now, for the secondary slider, you have some options. Just uh, keep in mind that uh, the size for this slide is 468 by 60, which happens to be a banner size. Okay, now you don't you don't have to put a banner in here. You can do the same thing that you were doing with these top slides. Just you want to make the um, image, you know, uh, 468 by 60. So let's go to our Amazon Associates account and let's go to watches. We're, while we're in here is banners and links. So we want to go down to 468 by 60. Okay. Now we have our image. Now there's a few things you can do here. 
if you want to use this particular um, banner ad straight from Amazon, you can. You have a couple options. You can, um, if you have a screenshot um, software on your browser. Um, so Firefox has many um, um, free add-ons um, that does screenshots. Okay, or you can use Jing. If you have Jing on your computer, it's free. Um, you can just click on the Jing button and do a screenshot of this um, particular uh, ad. If you want to add this exact ad. OK, um, or you can go back to your uh, you can go back to your graphics generator and change this to be a 468 by 60 image. OK, so you have those two options. Now, I don't want to make these videos too long. They're already uh, way too long. So um, maybe this will give you an idea of how to use the banner images. Um, so I'm going to give you this link to um, use this particular uh, software and uh, have fun with it. OK.